Hello and welcome to the Shiki Science Show where in this video I'm going to do my best to try and explain what is an mRNA vaccine. So firstly we'll talk about what actually are vaccines and what makes an effective vaccine and then we'll look at what actually is mRNA and then lastly we'll put this into some context and look at the current mRNA vaccines that are being developed to try and tackle COVID-19. So firstly then what is a vaccine? Well, the purpose of a vaccine is to provide active acquired immunity to particular infectious diseases. Therefore, if that person was infected by that same infectious disease again in the future, they have some defence systems in place to prevent or ameliorate the effects of that infection. So vaccines not only differ in terms of what infectious agents they're trying to protect against, but they also vary in the way that they are designed. For example, they could be live attenuated versions of that virus. They could be inactivated or killed viruses. They could be virus-like particles, or as we'll see later in this video, they could be mRNA-based. Now, in addition to a successful vaccine being safe, easy to produce, and having long-lasting immunity, in broad terms, for a vaccine to be effective, it needs two key components. Firstly, it requires antigens from the target pathogen that our body can develop antibodies against. And so these antigens can be provided by the vaccine itself or are generated by the vaccine recipient on receiving the vaccine. And then secondly, it needs an infection signal that alerts our bodies and activates the host immune system to develop these different antibodies and to create a memory against this target pathogen so that if it comes again into our bodies, we're ready to tackle it. So what then is an mRNA vaccine? Well, to state the blatant obvious, it's a vaccine that contains mRNA. But what does that actually mean? Well, mRNA stands for messenger ribonucleic acid, and this mRNA is an intermediate in gene expression that resides between DNA and production of a protein. So mRNA contains the genetic code that the body can use to produce a protein. So in the context of an mRNA vaccine, the vaccine contains mRNA that contains the information to produce antigens for a specific pathogen. And now mRNA is a pretty temporary molecule within our cells and so it's vulnerable to degradation. So how do you get the mRNA into our cells so that our cells can produce the antigen that the mRNA encodes for? Well, one way this can be done is by packaging the mRNA inside a lipid particle that can cruise for our bodies and make it into our cells. So what is an mRNA vaccine in the context of COVID-19? Well, COVID-19 is caused by the virus SARS-CoV-2. And so to be able to have an effective mRNA vaccine against SARS-CoV-2, we need that mRNA to encode an antigen of SARS-CoV-2. And so if we look here, this is a drawing I've done of SARS-CoV-2. And you can see on its surface, it has these so-called spike proteins that the virus uses to enter into our cells. And it's been shown in previous cases of coronavirus that only antibodies directed against the spike protein can neutralise the virus and prevent infection. So unsurprisingly then, the two major mRNA vaccines being produced by Moderna and Pfizer in collaboration with BioNTech are both developing mRNA vaccines that contain the mRNA that encodes antigens of the spike protein. And so the vaccines aren't identical between the two companies. The vaccine developed by BioNTech and Pfizer only contain information to produce the receptor binding domain of the spike protein. Nonetheless, the interesting thing is that previously mRNA vaccines have not been licensed for human use. And there's actually a really interesting article that goes into the backgrounds and history of the idea and conception of using mRNA in vaccines. And so I'll put the link for that in the description. However, based on other results gathered in mice, it does seem like these mRNA vaccines have potential, and this is purported by the announcements that were made earlier this week, for example, with Pfizer. So, as this article states, I hope we can all conclude that the world is in dire need of a safe, effective COVID-19 vaccine. And whether or not this comes from an mRNA vaccine, or from one of the more than 100 other vaccines that are currently being investigated, I hope this video has given you an insight into what mRNA vaccines are. And so with that, I hope you've learned something in this video and as always, thanks for listening.